Hey everyone, welcome to a Render Spaz video tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to create caustic effect with V-Ray 3.0 and uh, 3D Studio Max 2014. Um, I've, I have done a uh, earlier video or previously a video of the caustic effects with V-Ray uh, 2.4 but I'm going to show you now 3.0 uh, and just uh, to briefly go over uh, the settings that I get. It's very actually basic, uh, pretty much almost at default settings. Um, but I'll show you some different uh, different ways to go about it. Uh, what I here have here is a simple scene, um, just with like a wall, something that you would have like in a, maybe an architectural rendering. Uh, I'm not texturing anything right now. I just pretty much uh, built a, like a little bit of a kind of like a, a cavity area here with a uh, water uh, mesh that we're going to create. Um, something that you'd have like a little pool or maybe like a pond uh, in an architectural rendering. So that's just to kind of simulate that. Other than that, this is uh, pretty straightforward. So um, what I've built here was a plane uh, and I've created uh, some resolution on this guy. Okay, so I went from like a, a 20 to a 145 in the segments, just depending on the length and uh, your width of the uh, object that you're using. I think that was just enough for now. I use a displacement modifier on this to give me some um, some bump that uh, will create some water ripple if I want uh, some wind strength or something to simulate that uh, makes it look like it's moving. Uh, instead of using a bump map, you can use a bump map if you if you wish. Uh, I just like to go with the uh, displacement. Uh, and then I was messing around with the strength, depending uh, on the strength um, of your liking, you can get a uh, cool ripple effect here. And playing with that will increase the uh, amount of waves, or the height of the waves, if you will. Um, and that's pretty much it. And that's just, uh, it's pretty straightforward. All right, so if I go to my material editor here, here's my noise map. Uh, I had to play with the size of the, um, the noise so if you want like a rougher water uh, you can play with that uh, and I also put on fractal to give us this effect and also go to uh, the regular mode and then get some different kind of ripples but I like to get the fractal just to give me a little more detail and then our water shader I just used a, uh, a standard V-Ray shader uh, diffuse went black um, over in the refract, uh, keep it white, oh, or it's almost white, uh, 235 or so, whatever you, you wish. And then um, from there, we want to make sure effect shadows is off. And uh, we also made the fog color just this kind of blue. I, I play around with this uh, just to get different uh, color looks to my water. Also, our fog multiplier is set to 0 0.02. That'll give us a faint. Um, faint color of this blue it's not going to be so saturated All right so um that's pretty much it and then we have a, uh, a nice water okay so what I have right now is uh, I have to set up our um, our Sun okay in the top view here I'm going to view a Sun I'm just going to drag this out We'll overwrite our, our map that I just had in there because I was testing this. Alright, drag up the sun up just a bit. Maybe tilt it this way. Okay. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to, well, I guess I'll place a camera in. Why not? Put a physical camera here and just lay this guy down. Zoom out a bit for now. Render this out and see what we got. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, so now we just want to um, come up here and let's take a look at our sun. Okay, so right now uh, I'm leaving uh, the camera set to default at the f stop of 8. I'm just going to leave it as is. Uh, maybe I'll just change this to a daylight make sure our sun 
is all set up. So what we want to do is, um, all right, so let's get into this. So what we have right now in our camera settings, um, I hit render, we have uh, our sun um, bouncing and hitting into the uh, little uh, pool here that we have created. All right, but the thing is we don't have our caustic effects. So uh, in order for us to get that, we can almost pretty much get this uh, straight away here. As soon as I hit the classic buttons on, let's turn that on and let's see what we have here. All right, we're going to get the glow effect. And you can see though right now that um, we're only getting uh, this section lit with the caustics. Now, if you don't have your photons, let's just go over here to our sun. The crucial thing here is you got to make sure your photon emit radius is cranked up and it's covering um, the surface that you want the caustics to have the effect on. So let's go back to the camera mode and now we hit render and pretty much straight away you get the effect. And that is already a, a sellable effect that you would want for like say if you want to have a swimming pool in your architectural renderings, uh, whatever it is, anything to do with water and you want the sun to bounce into the water and create that ripple effect, you already get the uh, results with just the default settings with just making sure though that, that these the photon emitting uh, radius is set and also make sure that the um, your material okay you just got to make sure that that guy um, if you go over to the refraction area you want to make sure that the effect shadows is not checked on because if that's the case which most of the time it is off it's on default default it's off uh, but in case you did have that on or you do put it on you're going to see that you're not going to get the cost effects no matter what you do so you've got to make sure that it's checked off hit render, sure enough, um, you're going to get some nice results, okay? Um, just to go through some of the caustic settings, uh, if somehow you have darker uh, lines coming through, like these little uh, caustic uh, little light lines that you see there, or whatever you want to call them, uh, if, if that's the case, um, there's two ways you can go about it. You can obviously increase the sun uh, intensity or what you could do or whatever if you use a direct light as well or you can uh, come in over to your oh, let's see here uh, GI settings and then what you can do is you go to your search distance uh, your search distance okay you can leave that on five but you also have a um, advanced tab where you can go to your multiplier and crank that up so if you want to go to say a two it's probably gonna be too strong Hit the render button here. You're going to see you're going to get a um, very extreme uh, effect here with the caustics. Okay, it's going to be a lot brighter, blown out. Uh, so I, I technically like to just leave that at one, but if you need be, you can always uh, put that on. Also, you got your search distance. Uh, well, let's go back to just rendering our, our regular. Uh, caustic effect here, our normal one there, there we go, that looks really good, nice detail. So we can also um, look at the max photon, so right now we got it at 6, so if I do it at uh, 128, uh, we render this, alright, so you can see we have, um, it looks like our caustics have gotten a little bit smoother here, alright, and um, so as the higher we go, uh, the more smoothed out uh, these caustics will look. You can get some nice, that way you're not going to have all this noise um, dropped into your uh, caustics. So uh, let's compare that really quick here. So um, so I went to 128 max photons in this render here. So what we can do is go back to our 60, render that guy back out. All right, so this is pretty much a personal preference. Um, you get, okay, so that if you look at both these images here, you can see on the left of our 60 photon, um, we get some detailed, uh, detailed uh, caustics, okay, with the, that photon at 60, and over here we get a more blurry, uh, smoother caustics, but this has a little bit more detail 
But the also thing that uh, you got to be aware of is the lower the number, the more um, detail you get, but also you get some noise. So you, so you want to play with that number uh, and find that you you know uh, a number that you just you feel comfortable with, with the uh, the photons and uh, the detail that's uh, that is uh, required for your rendering. But right now, I think this is uh, this is pretty much. Uh, I almost want to go with the one on the right. Um, for this, it looks it looks very nice and smooth. Uh, it might be a little bit too much. Maybe I'm going to go with um, 90 instead. Let's render that. That's why I do get some detail. I do like the detail, not too too smooth. But uh, you can see we're starting to get a little bit more hotter height. Uh, highlights and light uh, hits here so um, I'm gonna go with that but uh, that's pretty much it guys that's it concludes this video of caustics uh, pretty straightforward I uh, didn't get really in-depth but enough to give you some cool effects for your architectural renderings if you have um, you know if you have a pool or you have any kind of like pond or any kind of just little uh, trenches with uh, water in it or if whatever scene it uh, you wish to use this, uh, or whatever uh, scene you want to create and you want to have a caustic effect. Um, hope this uh, helps and it gives you an idea of uh, what you can do with it. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more um, and uh, check out uh, more of my tutorials at uh, www.renderspass.com. All right, guys. Thank you and see you later.